Audio Jungle. CDC has released new information about the growing concerns with antibiotic resistance and how the majority of the population is unaware of all things antibiotic. Two students from High Point University have conducted a study to see how familiar college students are with antibiotics and what they do. Can you tell me how antibiotics work? Uh, they're like the pills that doctors give you to heal you anytime you're sick. So what is antibiotic resistance? It's a law that prevents a person from buying antibiotics. So how does antibiotic resistance develop? Lawmakers. Could you name me some of the consequences that antibiotic resistance bring about? Well, you obviously can't buy antibiotics, so you get sick more often and then you stay sick longer. So why are pharmaceutical companies not working harder in order to help with this problem by making more drugs more rapidly? Have you been to a pharmacy? They already have like a hundred kinds. So what could we do to help with this issue? Pass a bill to like get rid of this law. Thank you. So can you tell me how antibiotics work? They are a type of substance secreted by microorganisms that can be transformed into a drug that treats or prevents bacterial infections. They can kill or inhibit growth of bacterial cells. There are a variety of different forms of antibiotics that target different, different parts of the bacterial cell. For instance, there are some antibiotics that inhibit bacterial cell wall growth, inhibit DNA replication, inhibit protein synthesis, and inhibit other functions of the cell. There are two types of bacterial cells, gram-negative and gram-positive, so antibiotic drugs treat one or the other. Generally, antibiotics are designed to be most effective on gram-positive bacteria because they have a thick cell wall and human cells do not. Therefore, the antibi antibiotics won't harm human cells. So what is antibiotic resistance? Uh, it's when antibiotic drugs can't kill bacteria and you stay sick. So can you tell me how antibiotic resistance develops? Uh, misuse or overuse of antibiotics is a common cause of antibiotic resistance. When having a bacterial infection, there are billions of bacteria present that grow and divide, causing the infection to spread. Antibiotics are prescribed in order to kill these bacteria or inhibit them from growing any further. However, there are a collection of bacteria that antibiotics don't kill or prevent due to the genes that make up the bacteria, which allow them to be left behind and repopulate. Two bacteria with differing genes can undergo conjugation which allows new bacteria to be produced. With the resistant gene, this can cause another infection that previous antibiotics cannot remove. Can you name me some consequences of antibiotic resistance? Uh, if you don't take your full prescribed dose, you can have a relapse of the infection and have to get new treatment because the bacteria can't be killed or prevented by the previous drug any longer. So could you tell me why pharmaceutical companies aren't making new antibiotics more rapidly to help with this cause? Well, making antibiotics costs a ridiculous amount of money, around like $2.5 billion per antibiotic. It is not feasible for a company to make this kind of drug if they want to make a profit because they become resistant after just a few years. So what could we do to help with this problem? Well, we can educate the public about the issue so that there's not as much confusion about the problem. Also, this idea could be taught in schools so students learn at a young age and can somewhat educate others about it. So can you tell me how antibiotics work? Um, yeah, they're pills that you take that kill bacteria when you're sick. Can you tell me what antibiotic resistance is? Yes, actually. It's when bacteria have a change in their genes to make antibiotics less effective. Um, instead of the bacteria dying, they continue to grow and multiply, continuing an infection that you have. So how does antibiotic resistance work? Well, basically, after taking an antibiotic, the bacteria that are left behind um, weren't affected by the antibiotics, and they continue to replicate and cause an infection in the body that can't be stopped. Um, so the drug that you used to use doesn't work anymore. So can you name me some consequences of this antibiotic resistance? Um, some consequences of antibiotic resistance is that natural selection will select for strains of bacteria that are resistant to the antibiotic and they will continue to grow. Um, it causes the morality rate to skyrocket in terms of bacterial infections and a simple infection could easily kill a person and we would be in a state similar to that before antibiotics were even discovered. So why do you think that pharmaceutical companies aren't working harder to create new antibiotics to help with this problem? Well they're broke so they can't afford to make the new drugs, 
because they won't even work for that long. So what can we do to help? The most beneficial way to help with um, antibiotic resistance is to better consumers. We must question doctors more thoroughly when we're asking about medications that they're prescribing for us and why they're prescribing them. Doctors also need to learn to avoid giving antibiotics when they're not going to do anything just to satisfy the patient or the patient's guardians. As members of society, it is our duty to spread the word about antibiotic resistance. Their study has proven that many college students don't know the exact ins and outs of how important antibiotics are and how resistance is a major issue in society. Antibiotics should only be prescribed when needed to treat bacterial infections. In order to help with this issue, we should pay more attention to our own symptoms and question the doctors more thoroughly when they're trying to prescribe us antibiotics. I'm Sandra Omega, and that's all from this breaking news report. Tune in tomorrow for a report on the effect of opiate misuse and addiction.